Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this. It is Wednesday, June 28th, 2023. I have my sunglasses on because it is bright out here. High 90s, teetering on 100 degrees. Supposed to get up to 107 today here in Phoenix, Arizona. I am gonna roam around, just see what I can find. Stay in the shade as much as possible. Sometimes I'll be out in the sun, like right now I'm right here. There's a shaded area here. There's a sunny area here. So what I would like to do, step into the sun for a moment and then for more moments, be in the shade. I'm inviting you to join me as I explore Phoenix. That car just bumped a little bit going down the incline there. Join me. You see downtown in my glasses. Right over there. Shall you? Currently 95, gonna get up to 107. It's 1038 at the moment. This is not enjoyable weather. Even these little pea looking items, pea pod items that are on this tree are like kind of dried up. Now what I'm being told by some of the locals that this isn't even 107, isn't even a hot day. And keep, people keep saying also, it's a dry heat. It's still heat. You don't have that humidity like you do in Florida, but 107 is nothing to scoff at. I mean, you can scoff at it, but then you probably get a, unless you're wearing sunscreen, you get burned. I made a short commute over the corner of Sherman and 7th Street, yeah, 7th Street. Right over here, close to the George Washington Carver Museum and near Chase Field is this interesting sign here, a roadside signage that was placed here in 2012 for the anniversary of the state itself. So I guess now the state would be 111 years old. I'm doing the math correct on that. you can see the 1912 and the 2012 so yeah the 100th anniversary of Arizona and just all made out of street signs right here so you have the business area signs watch for animal signs you have the no parking signs you have the fire danger sign you have the officer driving by sign Wayne's World moment plane was about to fly right into the sun. Pretty cool. Standing right here in the median. So we got to be kind of a far away from it in order to see it from over here. This could really confuse some travelers. <laughs> Hold your ears. This is located next to this fire hydrant, but also on the corner of Grant and 7th. Do not pass. Got another plane landing over there. And do not park on this side of the road. I parked over by that mechanic shop over there. I think the mechanics thought I was filming their shop. I was like, oh no, I'm just going over here to film this unique little wall classic truck alert hey back in the car now got some horses over here this is an area known as mineral canyon They're just trying to stay cool over there it's a mountain off in the distance a small mountain i'm pulling into this neighborhood found this little parking area of what appears to be a castle off in the distance and I was reading some stuff online and at one point it was open 
for visitors, but it does not appear to be open today. I don't think I'm going to be able to go past this fence line. And if they are open to visitors, today is not the day. to visit it. It's right here in this neighborhood. Well, at the end of the neighborhood. You can even see a little footpath where people have trod this direction just to get a better view. Oh yeah, someone has knocked the fence down. Look at this cactus. Cactus is everywhere here and probably snakes. Scorpions. Yeah, someone has like, uh, the fence has been blown down or torn down. And now they put this line across it. My first impression is maybe that was like an electrical fence. It's not, it's like just like, it's just uh, like a rubber string. There it is, the mystery castle. The car pulling up behind me. Maybe it's someone that works here or maybe it's someone one of the neighbors telling me to get lost. All right, they drove off, didn't say anything. I think maybe they were just doing a U-turn in the area. So going off what the interwebs say, which sometimes is true, sometimes it's not, the lady that lived here built it out of junk as a gift to her daughter. And then years later did tours until she passed on in 2010. So it was made completely out of junk. But it looks like a pretty structurally sound castle here. And it's in a good spot. It'd be pretty cool to live there. Right on the side of this mountain. Something is crawling up my leg. What is that? South Mountain is what this is called. Pulled over right here, have the air condition kicked on pretty hard. Look at this winning lottery. There's a old prospector. So evidently this gas station convenience store that it's adjacent to sold a winning lottery ticket at some point. Or maybe not, but that's just what I'm taking that to, to mean. All right, I've now made it over to the corner of North 80th Ave. You see the big cactuses right there in front of, oops, some birds just went by. So years ago, I think I did an unedited video many, many years ago. Gosh, probably even close to a decade ago here at this gentleman's yard who has been collecting stuff for decades. This is just an incredible, look, a photo enforcement zone. totem pole there. This is the Batmobile down here. Some old Mickey D's items. You got the little uh, hamburger guy there from the play area. New York street sign. I've seen a lot of street signs today. New York City limit sign, the Statue of Liberty with glasses on. Shell, old gas station. And it appears as if, I don't remember this from years ago, so there's a Paul Bunyan over there, a muffler man, I should say, not holding a muffler, but holding an ax. Looks like it's branched off across the road, where, from what I recall, it used to just be on this one side. Got the lucky number seven from Vegas there. There is a, there's a circa 2015 temp tracker mustache on that cactus. There's a hippo, hungry, hungry. Oh, there's Pluto down in this uh, bird cage. I always wonder what people think that live in the neighborhood when a resident moves in and does this to their yard. A lot of scrap metal through here though. This thing is like riddled full of holes. So these owls are used sometimes to keep away birds. And this owl right through the, the tuchus there has a sword from that night. Oh, there's another good Ronald back in there. Like 
a dog up there looking through the glasses. There's Godzilla. Right up there. Oh! It's an old 666 sign. Roswell. City limits. Elevation 3,500, but it's got the 666. Where he got all these signs from? I mean, did he go to this asylum and be like, oh, that looked look good in my yard? So yeah, very, all the other houses here are pretty normal. There's one with a camper over there. So I'm sure when this resident, you know, back in the day before GPS existed and the friend would come over, they'd be like, tell me how to get to your house. I'd be like, oh, just look for the big Paul Bunyan holding an axe, the muffler man. That's my neighbor. A lot of figures with axes. There's another one right there, this one, holding an axe. Okay. Well, there's an okay sign. Oh, there's a Pizza Hut sign. Like, how do you get a Denver City Limit sign? Like, how do you get that? You just go to Denver and say, that, that's nice. And it appears as if there's like a little camera right there. Oh, there's a hand right there, those hand chairs. Those retro hand chairs. Looks like there's a bear up there with long arms. Sweet potato weevil. I didn't know that that was going around. It's unlawful to move sweet potatoes beyond this point. This is lucky. There's Peter Griffin. Oh, it's Hercules. Look at that. It's like he's seen a ghost. There's a big chicken right here. Lintiment zone. Not sure what lintiment. City of Forks. Interesting. He's got a bra on here. Oh, there's a there's a big boy. I always like to see a big boy. It's a train conductor. PP conductor railroad. Fogged up glasses there. There's a moose there. There's a cow. Ah, oh, there's an oxen. There's a bear. There's a fish. There's a cow. Wow. Like, there's the moon. And evidently this was the yard of the month at some point. Second place for the yard of the month. So if this place won second place, I'd like to see the first place winner. More Mickey D's items here. I think that was Mickey D's. I'm trying to remember what characters that name was. There's Alien. There's Marge Simpson. Dinosaur from the gas station. I'm noticing a theme with a lot of glasses. Like there's a bear in glasses. There's a sheep in glasses. Someone else is pulling in to get a gander at this yard. Actually, no, it's the neighbor. There's a chipmunk. So this chipmunk just staring right into the neighbor's yard. This person's backing into their driveway and this chipmunk is just gonna stare right at the passenger as they pull in. Imagine pulling into that every day and seeing that. Especially if you didn't get along with your neighbor. I'm sure they probably get along with him, but yeah. Oh, muffler man's eye. Could be the hypno toad right there. Oh, there's a uh, golden arches up top too, on top of the roof right there, below the axe. Oh, there's a cowboy over there, riding up on the horse. Those neighbors seem unfazed by what lies right next to them. 
They see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. So this is the entrance. So evidently the homeowner would remove the lock and walk down this very path towards the back. You can see the little walkway here. And you know, not a lot of grass growing out in the desert. So you don't have to worry about mowing or weed eating the yard. There's a rat fink right there. That's hundreds of pairs of glasses. Like not normal size glasses, oversized glasses. Rat fink. I think I hear a rooster. It's like a bugle, another big pair up on the roof there. There's a pig wearing some uh, glasses. And then over here, look at this one, like hiding in the corner, like slumped over and trying to find shade. It's like, get me out of the sun. It's like a little, like a polar bear. Definitely not doing well in this Arizona desert heat. So two residents, or at least one resident with two homes, have completely loaded their yard up with nostalgia, metal, And all of these things, if you were to touch them, would be very, very hot. Because the sun is permeating out here. It is no joke out here. Popping up out of the bottom of that garbage can there. Got a tiki, couple tikis there as well. Ooh. It's a pumpkin. It's a water cooler. Like everywhere I look, there's just more and more stuff. Another cactus. This hippo looks like it's like in the middle of singing a song. It almost looks like it could have been like an animatronic or something. At some point, a little bicycle behind. The golfer there at the golf club. Ah, oh, there's a there's a wasp, or is that a bee? Some cobwebs here. Faint cobwebs. All right, stop. Sheriff's in town glasses. I was kind of hoping that someone would be home and I could ask them about some of these items. Like, what is the, the infatuation with the glasses and the meaning behind all the glasses? Now, out of the sun, underneath the awning, underneath the garage area over there are even more items. Got a zebra. Got a guy with a top hat on. Got some angel wings someone has been operated on. This is an oversized noggin from the game of Operation. Quite possibly the most unusual street in Phoenix. Pretty unusual. And hot. See a goose over there. I see a couple lions. This one looks very startled. And as suspected, plenty of stuff going over into the backyard as well. It's the whole corner. And I have my hand on this concrete and it is warm. I don't think that's a safe speed. 250 is the speed limit. What road was that on? All right, I'm in traffic now, heading over to another spot. I'm noticing this item right here at the traffic signal. I don't know what that is. Is that a baseball or a peach? 99 cent shoes, or $9.99 cent shoes.
That is a very unique looking building. It's closed, but that A-frame style building there. From one unique yard to another unique yard, completely across town. Check out this cactus, it's very green, but look at this tree, the tree is green. Also, it's a completely green tree. Actually, they're all kind of a greenish hue. Possibly the sun does that. And when I looked at this from this angle, I thought this bird kind of looked like Donald Duck a little bit, but it's actually the back of the bird. It's not a duck. It's a bird. But this is a rock garden that someone has created years ago. And it's closed off, but you can see some of the unique items from the road as well. It's right over here next to a mechanic shop and a trailer park behind me. You see the tile, interesting tile and broken glass that makes up these unique structures. You got a lighthouse up here. Little bottom of a wicker chair. Seems to be a thing in Phoenix where people just decorate their yards with very interesting items. Pretty much every one of these sculptures are made out of rock. See a few back there. In fact, it looks as if that is a family eating at a table, like a picnic is going on. See them over here, there's three, the three youngins right there, possibly the dad here, maybe another one of the youngins. Maybe that is the father there. Okay, there's another windmill there. Looks like part of the windmill kind of broke off, has a star above it. There is a horse dangling from the top of that canopy. And then over here, some very interesting looking bushes. Now these trees are normal color trees, not green. But off in the distance is kind of the, I almost said the meat and potatoes of this little art structure here in this yard with the backdrop of the mountain. Look at that. Got a big tower there. Almost looks like the Seattle Space Needle. There's a dog waving. I think the dog's waving, it's hard to tell. There's a paw up there. There's a little, is that a, another dog there and a, their owner. Another windmill. So it's made out of rock and possible concrete, but then also has the glass kind of shoved into the side. I just have to peek over the fence here because there's no one here at the moment. Again, I go to these places sometimes hoping that the person living there will walk out or pull in with their car, but it hasn't happened today. And as stated as the, at the other place, you just gotta wonder what the neighbors think about or the artistic collecting of items and artistic renderings that happen in their neighborhood. The trailer park over here, the side view of the picnic table. Looks as if they got some forks and knives there. Yeah, they've added a fork and knife into the hands. A lot of detail goes into this stuff. A lot of time and effort as well. Gotta be a little pixelated and grainy because I'm zooming way in. You can see some more of the sculptures over there too. It's like little cubby holes as well with some items on them. Oh, it's great to see this bowling alley's open. Has that retro vibe to it. Kind of nostalgia 80s look. Even a great logo and billboard here out front. Marquee, let it roll, bowl. 
today's special got a wheel of fortune moment Stacy's Dunner leagues are now forming that is a great sign they're proudly serving thrifty ice cream and just look at the view there you got those apartments over there the mountain behind them it's like something out of a movie sometimes you stumble on a place that you didn't know you needed in your life until you see it a place that is next to a little strip mall area with a shark on the roof a place by the name of Long Wongs with a flamingo. Wings, burgers, pizza, fish, subs, and hot dogs. This place is like a beacon off the side of the road. Someone has a palm tree-esque sun visor. Sun visor would be very smart to have, or a sun shade area for your dashboard. Look at this. This, this whole episode is a cornucopia of yard decor. This is not in a yard. This is in front of a restaurant. Long Wong's Wings. What in the name of heck? This is awesome. Dinosaurs up on top of the roof. Buffaloes. I'm in the mood for some wings. We have no clue what gluten is. <laughs> what is this place? Shoulda ate at Long Wong's. All right, Phoenix is in the A plus category of unique yard art, certainly. Oh, it looks like Long Wong put his name down here in the concrete. Another Statue of Liberty there. Look at this. It's like a gorilla making a wrestling move. And an owl saying thank you. Voted the best wings in Phoenix back in 2022 last year. They started in 1980. Looks like that's Elvis there with a fashionable pair of pants. This truck has seen better days. The windows are busted out of it. Take a look at Homer over here. Snoozing, dreaming of long longs with the flamingo. I'm gonna go inside this place. They drew me in. Jack there. Probably very warm in that outfit. I've seen these around. I think there's one of these at the OC Fair of a ketchup. Or not a ketchup, a hot dog. <laughs> Trying to decide on ketchup or mustard. I like mustard on a hot dog. Some people like ketchup, but I prefer mustard. You know what I've never noticed though? What other ones of these I've seen? Each eye, eye, eyebrow is ketchup and mustard. I like this place already, I'm going inside. Stepping inside everything I had hoped and wanted it to be from the exterior, duplicated, and then some on in the interior. Just a cavalcade of kitschy, nostalgic goodness all along the walls, on the roof, above the counter, above the menu board. Just, a, just an incredible amount of stuff in here, even some some retro arcade games, pinball, 
just had a little bit of everything. It's almost kind of like nothing was off limits to just throw up in here from a certain era. You can see everything has been kind of wedged in here from many decades ago up in there. And I decided, as I perused the menu board, I mean, it is a wing place. I figured I'd get 12 wings. And you know what? The wings, pretty dang good. Had to get some ranch too and some waters. I guess one water is not enough, so I had to get a couple waters. I liked it. I like the ambiance outside and inside. And I will always remember here in Phoenix, it's lasted this long, it'll probably stay on, stay, stay, continue to be open for a while. I can see why the wings were tasty. And long, longs, wings. Since 1980. Where else can you get wings? And other sort of things, they have hot dogs, fries, they have pizza. Where there are dinos on the roof. There's a few other places, but this place is in Phoenix. I liked it. And that's gonna do it for today from Phoenix, Arizona. A very warm, a very hot, a very toasty. They say it's dry heat. That's true, there isn't as much humidity as Florida. But goodness gracious, that sun is poignant. Saw a lot of very interesting roadside attraction s type things in yards in front of restaurants and just out and about in phoenix i'm enjoying my visit my tenure here thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video the vlog is over that hamburger's dancing that's only 104 degrees <laughs> excessive heat watch <laughs> Man. Ah. In their humble opinion, they make the best dentures in the world. It's good to know.